Well, hey gang, welcome back. <laughs> My name is Karen. This is Southern Keto Vore. We're gonna have a little chat, chat, chitty chat, chat. So it is Sunday morning. It is my day off. Uh, it is, I say Sunday morning. It's like 1230 in the afternoon. Uh, I just pulled up to the grocery store so that I can get some stuff for meal prep today. Uh, but confession, I absolutely was pressured by my dear, wonderful husband who is supposed to be keto uh, to order pizza last night. And I no better but I had two slices of pizza and so I have been fighting a horrible headache all morning I feel puffy my sinuses are all like me like I've been doing this six and a half years I know better you know <laughs> I know better I know that it makes me feel like crap uh so yeah uh, so first thing this morning, I texted my sister-in-law, Angie, who a lot of you guys know, uh, she went with me to Keto Palooza last year and we're going together again this year. Super excited about that. Uh, but Angie is my sister-in-law who has seen great success thus far with keto. Um, so for accountability, I messaged her and I'm like, yeah, so... I ate two slices of pizza last night. I feel like crap. Uh, I've done everything to get rid of my headache and it won't go away. Update. It's like five hours later and it still hasn't gone away. I have tried caffeine, electrolytes, uh, lots of water, Excedrin, ibuprofen, a hot shower, eating. I've done all of the things. Um, nothing's working. Uh, I also did the like sinus the positive pressure water bottle thing so what I like to call a sinus douche where you like flush your sinus cavities tried that nothing that's still there it still sucks and you know why it's because I ate carbs yeah it's because I eat wheat especially like my body hates wheat uh yeah so what have we learned hopefully I learned something because good googa do I feel crappy Anyway, it's been motivation, uh, so I made a list. I'm going to the grocery store. I'm going to see what I can get to meal prep for the week and try to really focus on quality stuff and being prepared because not being prepared is always sucky. So that's the goal is to be prepared. Um, I When I talked to Angie this morning, we went back and forth. She kind of has been on this um, little like stressful hump in her life where she's been, um, not like off plan, just not intentional with her plan. So she's like, let dairy creep back in and a couple of like chalk zero treats and stuff slip back in. So she and I both have agreed tomorrow morning, which is Monday. Uh, we are both going to do our weight and measurements and, start again with a nice little strict plan. Um, today I, I am still a hundred percent on plan, um, as far as just trying to recover from last night's, um, indiscretion. So tomorrow morning I'm going to weigh, I'm going to measure. We're going to have some nice baseline numbers, uh, to use going forward. And I want to do some Monday check-ins. Um, in addition to that, I am doing some Monday check-ins with my buddy, Tom, who is my work buddy. Um, he just started keto actually two weeks ago yesterday and he is, um, uh, Tom is older than me. He has already lost about a hundred pounds by calorie counting over the course of the last 18 months. But he's got, I think he said like 40 pounds that he'd like to lose to get back down into a healthy weight range. So he started with keto and he is on a limited budget. We have, instead of going real strict with him, he is kind of on a 
dirty keto sort of route. I basically have given him a list of food saying, you can have these things. Right now, let's just do these. But he honestly, I think just because of convenience and the ease of it, has been more carnivore. Um, so instead of doing weight because he doesn't have a scale at home, what we did is took a string and did the string measurement around his waist. Uh, and we're going to check that every Monday. That's the plan. So I get to check in with him tomorrow morning and see uh, what progress he has seen as well as far as the string test. Um, so that's exciting. It's exciting to see other people feeling good and succeeding. So we're going to do that. Angie's going to measure and I'm going to measure, and we both, we are sharing our meal plans with each other for the week, and for accountability, we're sending our food pictures back and forth this week. Uh, so I might, in with all of that, try and include all of my food pictures over on my Instagram, uh, which if you don't follow over there, that is linked below in the description. Uh, it's just Southern Ketobor over on Instagram, so I'll include my meals over there. Might throw in a couple of what I eat in a days this week, too. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of, that's where we're at. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing this. Like sometimes you just make bad choices and I, you know, here's the thing. Like I know that carbs don't serve me. I know that they make me feel crappy. Uh, and what's really frustrating here is that Richard has been, he's, he's, like, okay, yeah, he's lean. He's never struggled with his weight. He's he's always done really well. But he is, like me, like everybody else, we're all getting older every single day. And he's not taking care of himself. The whole idea of him going keto is to try to improve his overall health. And all it took last night, it I was not hard to pressure into this either. He was just like, hey, look what came in the mail today. And it was a little coupon card from Paisano's, which if you live in Charleston, you know that Paisano's is awesome. And so I went online and I ordered pizza because he was like, I really want pizza tonight. And I was like, mm, okay. Like, <sighs> so that's that. Um, yeah. So I had pizza. I feel like garbage. I'm going to go in here, buy some meat, try to feel better, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, so that's that's this week's confession. I'm not perfect. And I'm not proud of it. Uh, but I appreciate that you guys are people that I can open up to and talk to about it. And say, hey, you know, sometimes I suck. Uh, so anyway, that's a, a long-winded way of saying... Um, Let's get back at it. So I also just want to say, I made a post over on Instagram yesterday about this too. Um, but we have literally gone through at this point, as of today, three weeks of the new year. And we are at that point where a lot of people have given up on their resolutions or have started slipping. And I don't want anyone to go ahead and, and strike off this year is like, ah, I'm a failure. I've screwed up. I'm done. And just throw yourself to the wolves and go back to old ways. Um, I think that it is important to acknowledge that none of us is perfect and that it's okay to dust yourself off and get back up if you've made a mistake. Um, you don't, you know, you don't throw in the towel just because you had a bad day or a bad week or made a couple of bad choices. So I hope that uh, any of y'all, if you have slipped or if you're having a little time right now where you're feeling uh, discouraged, if you're not seeing all of the results that you want, um, or if you're finding it difficult, you know, I, I am hoping for all of you that you push through. Um, there's a lot of year left and there are so many days left where we can continue to make progress on ourselves, whatever that may look like. If that means bumping up your steps every day by a couple of thousand steps, or I'm going to drink more water if that's your goal, or if it is I'm going to stick to keto for a week, or whatever it is, like find, find your things and you can make short-term goals or even small commitment. Sorry, my nose is like itchy and running at the same time. Um, but like, it's okay. It's okay. If you have had a rough go so far this year, we are three weeks into the year. 
that means there are 49 left and you can make it yours all right I want everybody to take a minute deep breath find a way to prioritize yourself make that little small commitment being blinded yes make that small commitment something that you can stick to it can be small it can be big but give yourself a goal for this week. Okay, this week I'm going to bleh, walk for 10 minutes after every meal. Um, hit my water goals. Um, stick to keto this week. If after this week I can't stick to keto, I'll find something else. Whatever it might be. Make yourself a short-term goal for this week. A seven-day goal. And... If you can do that, if you can commit to a seven-day prioritization of yourself, you will get the confidence of, look at that, I knocked out a goal or I stuck with something for the week. Maybe I can do it another week. Then after that, maybe I can do it another two weeks. Maybe I can do it another month. I mean, hell, I've done it a month, right? So that's what I want you to do. Think of what it is, however big, however small. Make that your goal for this week. Prioritize yourself. I know for a lot of people, if you are working, if you are a parent, if you are caring for a loved one, whatever it might be, it is really easy to put yourself on the back burner. I am super guilty of it. For me, I've got a whole big freaking family in my house and a lot of animals and a job. And it is easy for me to put a lot of my own needs and desires on the back burner. But we all need to find something that we can put as our number one priority for this week that will serve ourselves. And that's what I want everybody to do. So let's do that. I'm going to wrap it up. Quick little message for you today. And that's it. All right. So, all right, we'll do that. And I will see you on the next one. I am actually going to film my meal prep today, so that'll be a separate video. Uh, and then we'll do some, um, some what I eat days this week. Oh, it's cold. My nose is red. Um, in case I hadn't mentioned it, I don't like children that haven't lived in my uterus. And sometimes I don't even really like them, you know, because they're human and no one is likable all the time. <sighs> so the reason that I stopped recording abruptly was because someone's little womb gremlin swung their door open and hit my car so hard that it was on the opposite side of my side mirror. So I had to like get out and unfold, like fold in my mirror so that we could get their car door loose because she started panicking and yanking on the car door to try to get it free, which would have just ripped my entire side mirror. I hate children. Anyway, um, it's a little scuff of paint. It's not the end of the world, but. If you're going to leave your kids unsupervised in a car in the parking lot at the grocery store, maybe tell them not to get in and out. I forgive her because she's maybe like 10 years old, but seriously, mom, get a handle on your child. Okay, I'm going home now. Uh, <laughs> I've already gone in the grocery store. Uh, I got a big old flat of eggs, 30 count flat of eggs. Got a big old thing of chicken breast. Um, there was no reasonable ground beef. The chorizo that I normally buy that is buy one, get one free this week was completely sold out. So yeah, so I have, I have chicken breast and I have eggs. <laughs> uh, kind of a bummer, uh, but I'll get some ground beef from my store tomorrow. Um, I do also still have a bunch of frozen, Bubba burger patties, uh, so I probably will make some of those for meal prep and um, go from there. So, and I think I have one pack of chorizo at home, so I'll probably brown that up. <sighs> Deep 
breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. Okay. I'm going to go. We're going to wrap this up. Thanks for letting me vent. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all. I'm taking Richard for an eye appointment this afternoon. And other than that, I'm meal prepping. And I will film meal prepping. And that will be a separate video. And then we'll do some what I eat in a days this week. And that will be all of the updates we need. So until next time, stay awesome. And I hope you don't get door dinged in the Harris Cedar parking lot. Okay. Bye. I hate children. In case anyone was curious. Mm -hmm.